Choo -choo. Okay, yeah. okay. Here we going again. It's going. Say the nations, yeah. You see, like Russia it. just left that treaty. I'm that probably um, read that. That arms day. treaty. Yeah, the arms treaty. Yeah, they now, now they just gonna build all kind of million tanks. They said, fuck your treaty. That's right. They can take your treaty and yeah. shove it right up your ass. Damn Wipe right. your ass. And that's pretty much what they were saying, too. Yeah, I was just reading that scripture. Get it again. Yeah, cause that's Russia why I'm playing, saying, man. Russia, why, why, people could think they playing on That's why I say, why everybody out here talking about the biggest news to these people is what we was just talking about. Was that Robin Thicke shit. Still in Marvin Gaye's music. That's like the biggest controversy these people are aware of. They have no idea about the destruction of them. No clue. No, they ain't none. No clue. All they, all they watch is the celebrity shows and they get on YouTube. They, uh, all they watch is... Uh, hip hop videos and they get on the internet. All they do is go to world. Uh, what's that? World star hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All yep, this yep, nonsense yep. and foolery. I asked dumbass down the street. Remember, I do when I went. Yeah. Because uh, they go to church every Sunday up in the hood. And I asked him, well, what was today? What was uh, what was the Sunday's uh, message? Oh, prosperity again. Prosperity. That's why. And he said to me, that's why people need most, ain't it? But they've been pre preaching prosperity for how long? Is, does anybody out here look prosperous? No type of enlightenment at all. None. 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 That's the real money, too. I get a scripture to back you up on that. That's prosperity, man. Prosperity. Oh, what you got about getting a missile scripture? Surviving good times. That's what they, I should have recorded that shit, man. I gotta remember I got my voice recorded on my shit, man. Ain't nobody living good in this whole goddamn city but Esau. Damn right. Exactly. I mean, because look, we was just on the west side an hour or two ago. And the west side, that looked worse than the south side. I thought the south side was the dirtiest. Go to the bottoms, bro. The bottoms, or the bottoms <laughs> is called the bottoms for a reason. That's they on the goddamn bottom. You know who was over there, man? I go through there all the time. Do you really? That yeah, shit is fun. raggedy. I remember, bro. Honestly, I didn't think people could live. I didn't think it was so it's legal to even rent a house out like in that condition. Look, well, my, my dad had a house he was written. Over there? Back a year, about 10 Ooh, years ago. We used to walk on the floor. You could feel the house move back and forth. <laughs> wow. And look, the, the, the house was so off level, you could put a ball on the floor and a ball would roll down the floor. That's how it is at my place. The uh, maintenance man just told me today that the house is in the back. It's kind of built on the little slant. Like. So the foundation settled. Yeah. Started to leave. Well, because what happened we with the- We a creek. That's a creek right there. Uh, oh yeah, that probably does fuck with the. Uh, it probably yeah. it's eroding. I bet. Cause you know the, the story with the bottoms is years ago the the bottoms got flooded by the Scioto River. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause at first that was uh there was two cities in Columbus. You had Columbus on this side, and on the other side you had Franklinton. Mm -hmm. But the bot the bottoms was right there, and they got fucked up real bad by some floods. Mm -hmm. and that all them houses got destroyed. That, that's like the worst place to live in the whole city. Still is. You yeah. know they got that underground tunnel. It's um, I think it's end of this year or sometime this year it might be completed. You know them big ass um uh, that tunnel, the motherfuckers that dig through tunnels and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's the German. They got tunnel. one here. They got yeah, one here. The giant. Where they going at? Going under the Columbus. They already went from the east all the They already there. They out. It's probably on. Um, this shit gonna collapse. It's ending. I, I can't remember. I was reading all on it, man. I didn't hear nothing about that. It. But yeah, it's, they've been doing it for like four or five years now. And uh, at one time they was having problems coming up with funding for it, but they came, well, the money came from somewhere. Anyway. I don't understand how that. But it, they built it for the flooding. Really? Yeah, it helps drain the flood. The flood. The flood. The flood. The flood. Out of Columbus, period. Oh yeah. You know. That's crazy. Well, I heard my uncle told me he used to work downtown in the state house. But he said, you know, downtown got all kind of secret tunnels all going all through it. All, all through it. it. Probably for they got ways the mayor can escape and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Escape tunnels and passages. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, probably. Oh, of course. They whatever, always, whatever fact it is, lawmakers just be downtown. Because it's going to get to that point where we're going to when, when two thirds going to go after them, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is that? I was just like on that uh, Jamie Foxx movie. He played Obama. Well, yeah, he's the president. You remember that? That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, that was that recent one. White House down. Man, that movie was yeah. ridiculous, man. Yeah, that, that was ridiculous. That, that, that shit was they, they, they showed he had the secret escape route up in the White House. <laughs> was that the movie when he did that? Yeah, yeah they so. all got a so. uh, secret escape route. Even in that movie, uh, Nicholas Cage, uh, National Treasures. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Them Nicholas, I like them National Treasures, even though they bullshit. 
only seen one of them. Oh, how the Freemasons put secret codes on the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just like Nicolas Cage. You know what I'm saying? He just made some good movies. But he gonna be destroyed. <laughs> Big Mar Marlboro smoking ass. Every movie you see, he's just smoking a Marlboro. Yeah, he smells like a chip. I gotta smell him get the scripture. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Oh, said that's what a prophet's do. They come out and they prophesy against many countries. We ain't pro prophesying prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil it's and not, of pestilence. Of pestilence. The pestilence. So America is a great kingdom, is it not? So we are, we prophesying against America. It, people's going like, well, if you don't like America, why don't you get out? Why don't you leave? Yeah, hey, you, you can't get on a plane without going through TSA. We're all probably on a terrorist watch list, watch list ID anyway. ID, that'll stick a finger up your butthole, <laughs> put you through the x-ray machine. You gotta pretty much get your man. Well, fuck this jacking off to you. you go yeah. to another no, jacking off to you. No, they, <laughs> they got cop jacking off to yep, the x-ray sure picture. Sure the fuck did. They, yep. they sitting there, if you got a, they laughing at your dick. You go, oh, you got a little dick. You going through the x-ray machine? So you can't even get on an airplane without without getting searched. They search your wife. They gonna fill your wife's titties. They gonna search inside her. Yeah, they gonna search your baby. The government in this country ain't shit. Yeah, America ain't shit. Ain't shit. Yeah, fuck America. That's why the Lord's gonna destroy America. Wait, he was fucking his spirit up. He a great American. Especially if you live out here in one of these shithole houses, neighborhoods, how could you possibly love this country? You'll actually see American flags flying off of a house <laughs> that's, a piece of shit. that's falling apart and crumbling. And they, 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 that's they, so they, fucking they, true. they two months back on rent. You know, all they got in the fridge is some spoiled milk and some rotten eggs. about to get cut off. Yeah, you know, he's he <laughs> already been cut off. They got electric heaters. Yeah, they got Vienna sausages. Yeah, be, <laughs> yeah Raymond, he know but Raymond noodles. You talking about, this a great country. Plumbing fucked up. Yeah, yeah plumbing all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. plumbing fucked that's, up. That's why you mentioned that, because my motherfucking toilet over flooded earlier today. Oh, goddamn shit. fucking shit leaking through the goddamn ceiling. Damn, God damn. damn. Plumbing fucked up. Your wife just got home for three days out. Come in the car. Don't know where she was at. Toilet clogged. Know where the bitch was. But if you say anything to her, you're going to jail. That's right. right. She gonna call the cops. That's right. Hit me, motherfucker. Yeah, hit. No, you, you ain't gotta hit her. She'll call the cops and just say you hit her. That's right. And then you going to jail. Yeah, you got these bitches just calling down one one just because I got into it. He didn't argue. He you yelled at her. Yeah. It's like he yelled at. He hit me. He's a foul bitch. Wow. And I was just, check this out, I was just reading some history the other day. And it, it, all the way up until like the uh, mid 18th century, back in the 18th, not 18th century, the 1800s. Like all, all through early American history, you know, a woman could not own property. A woman was not allowed to own no property and she never ever got custody of the children. A woman was not allowed a single woman was not allowed to have custody of the children. There had to be a man there mm -hmm. to take care of them. That was the law. See, Esau's fucking devil ways even knew back then when he was trying to build up this kingdom not to be putting up no fucking woman because they even would have fucked that shit up. That's because when the Jews came in and took that shit over. That's when the Jews came in, they took that shit over. The so-called Jews, the Amalekites, they're the ones that are behind the woman's liberation. You know what I'm saying? And the women live, those women liberation, they, they some foul people, man. They always doing, walk around, uh, yeah, they, they got this new thing where women walk around without wearing tampons now because tampons are misogynist. Yeah, panties too. So now they just bleeding all up in their clothes. And that shit, that's the most foulest smell, man. No, they, they actually, the they're ball. supposed to get put away, ain't they? Yeah, you ain't supposed to be in the same house with a woman they're when she's to, on yeah, a... They're supposed yeah, to get yeah. put away. They're yeah. unclean. Yeah, they're unclean. Because the blood stinks, man. That shit stinks. Makes you itch, too. No. Horrible. I mean, it's part, yeah, I mean, it's part of nature and everything, but... But you got some dudes that they, they, they'll get up and they'll start licking it when it's all bleeding. They call it getting your blood wings. 
Yeah. You ain't heard about that? Y'all yeah. know about the blood wings? Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, you ain't got your blood wings? Yeah. Yeah. Like, heck, no. Well, hell, the bitches no. put it in their spaghetti and chew. You think they do? It's some magic. Booty, that booty it's some shit. Yeah. yeah, because because when, when a woman goes on a period, she goes nuts. Mm -hmm. So don't let her cook a meal for you when she's on her period. Don't get it. Uh uh. Cause she ain't in the right state of mind right there. Well, you know what I'm saying? Right. You don't know what she could do. Right. <laughs> I mean that's all natural and everything, but that's why the Lord had a law to say what? While she's on her period, you separate yourself from her. While she's on it. Mystery is holy. Mystery is holy. <laughs> but they got though. Bleeding between her legs, but they got. Yeah, they got. You know what I'm saying? They got. <laughs> it's my princess, my queen. And nowadays, all, all these bitches are emotions. So you mean tell me, if they're a guy, they're an emotional wreck. <laughs> right. And like, and like, ain't no supreme higher power going to be no emotional wreck. <laughs> right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you go second answer is five and eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be often sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mischievous women shall bring forth monsters. Bring forth monsters. Yeah, you get you'll get a ticket if you get caught pissing. That's what that's with uh Alicia. So my dude got locked up downtown because he didn't pay a pit. He got caught pissing up the up of the continent off of 161, and it was some rental cops that gave him the ticket. And his motherfucker, he was downtown drinking during the Jazz and Fest. They arrested his ass. That's bullshit. You know? man. They, they saw him drinking a beer, called it in, he had a warrant out for him for that misdemeanor for pissing in the public. Because we know it's it's a crime to, to relieve yourself when there ain't no bad. No, there's no. no bathrooms in this whole damn you city. You shit on yourself. Yeah, you guys, you got shit and piss yourself. <laughs> that's fucked up. Now, I know it's a crime too to drink beer. That's a, that's a great crime. This place is morally destroyed. It don't have no yeah. rules, man. It, no it has no understanding. Fuck this place, man. This place is gone up out of here, man. I'm gonna give a motherfucker a tip for this. Drinking a beer. Open, they call it open container. <laughs> what the fuck? But a woman can walk down the street with her ass and teeth showing. Yep, yep. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Niggas too. With their ass yep. showing. Walking, walking, we had pants hanging down. They cut, if you if you walking down the street sagging, you deserve to get the shit beat out if you buy some cops. Immediately. The cops yeah. should be allowed to roll up on the curb and just run you over. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? But then they would cry for him. Then they have protests for his ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said about a motherfucker, he, he, if he ain't got the sense enough to pull his pants up, he ain't got sense enough to do He's just telling else. you he want to be fucking his asshole. Yeah, that's, that's why they do it. That's why they do it. Yeah. That's some gay shit, man. You ain't never going to see me walk around with my, my butt cheeks showing this shit. Even at home. Even at home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even at home. I don't even expose myself to my family. Hell no. Just my wife, man. You know? But you see, they pants be down by that goddamn knees. Mm -hmm. That they need cats. I don't know how they even walk. They walk like a penguin they just to hold legs. them up. They walk with their legs. Yeah, like they that. walk. Yeah. House like that, yeah. But yeah. How, <laughs> how stupid and is that? That's how they run, too. Cause yeah. I yeah. Off the top before. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't getting away. Hold their penguin. They get fucked up. I didn't see the asshole trying to run from the cops and get fucked up. You know you get fucked up. You heard that, that uh, coat sound scraping against the concrete. Right, like right. <laughs> <laughs> so this motherfucker, like, you got no sense, man. There's a guy I here. It. I hate it. I There's hate a guy I hate too. I hate that's here in Columbus that be doing pranks on motherfuckers and shit. Let me see them on YouTube. And he had like did the like assassin uh, prank and put a beam on some uh, jakes down at the bus stop. What? And all the jakes they get to running. And like two, three of them fall on their ass because they shit is down here. Is they get fucked up. Here in Columbus? What? Yeah, yeah. His name is uh, Roman yeah, Apple. Right. They be knowing little shits around here on campus and shit. You be all over the city. They deserve to get fucked up. Yeah, he put he a beam on them. Yeah. I'm gonna have to troll the shit out of their Ro people. Roman <laughs> Apple. He be on there and shit. That's he put the do. beam on it. It was like a little bus stop. You know what I mean? Put the beam on them, they get to running and shit. They fall, <laughs> two or three of them fall. 
That was like that was, that was that was a real fucking sniper. That was, that's easy picking. Yeah, Jake ain't very smart, man. Ain't he too bright? Like you said, they're sodas children. Sodas children. But yeah, sodas means stupid. Yeah, they are. Man. Retarded. They are. Picking them bastards. We get some whole thing for them. And we out here looking like mad men. They don't nobody want to stop. You know what I'm saying? You just think, what are these motherfuckers doing? They having a party? They out here smoking? They probably, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They and we, and we had a table, we had a table out here with some hot pack, cold pack shit. Oh, oh we, we passing out some damn sandwiches? <laughs> some hot pack, cold pack, I remember them back in the oh, day. Oh, yeah, that's talking about from school. We used to get them. Some chocolate milk. Yeah, we used to have those, the hot packs and the cold packs. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we had the foil. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, they give you that little pizza. Yeah, it was not, some of that shit. You know, I remember that shit. They used to get. Yeah, you go to school, they feed you swine and shit. <laughs> and they talking about you gotta send your kids to school. They gonna feed you all that garbage. So one time we oh, that was a trip on the to the place where they made the hot packs and the cold packs. Oh, that was a bit. I missed that field trip. I didn't get to see it. Uh, I was sick. Who was that place? I think it was downtown. That was everybody's favorite field trip too. Like, we get to go down to the there in White Castles. Oh, we, we went to the White Castles, oh, the main you? place, the main thing. Uh, I think that's out west. I can't remember. I think it's out west. Y'all gotta go to White. We didn't get to do yeah, that. We went to White Castle a couple times. We had this thing. Now, one castle, one. <laughs> Damn, we had this thing. We went to uh, Papa Joe's. We all, got, we all got our own pizza. Oh shit. Well, you had. To, I think you had to be st all the student of the months. If you want, if you want a student of the month, you got to go to Papa Joe's and make your own pizza. Oh, I passed all the proficiency yeah. tests my first time, so we got to go to Kings Island. Oh, oh shit! I remember shit. We went to Kings Island one time in high school. The whole band went. It was a band trip because I was in band for like a month. <laughs> I dropped out of that shit. I was like, this is not for me. I never went to this shit. What, Kings Island? Cedar Point, Kings Island, that shit. Oh, that's where we went, Cedar Point. Certain certain students could afford to go, but I could never afford to go. Only yeah, time, Eric? Yeah, they paid like $80. My mom and dad was like, but my mom, you, ain't like, gonna well, see, you can stay home that day. You ain't gonna see me go there now. You can stay home. Afford that shit. I don't, right, I don't go even right now. I'm trying to get on the ride. Shit, get on, go. I'm you, not a tourist. You might die doing that shit. I'm not a tourist. You can be getting on one of them upside down loops and malfunction, your ass fall right out the roller coaster. Right. Oh, what about that fat bitch that died on the Superman? And, uh, <laughs> there's a fat bitch that died on the Superman. Oh, years ago. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, six Flags? Yeah. Because you know, Superman goes straight up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> I run, I've been on that before. She, spl she just splattered. Yeah, she was all the way at the top of the Superman. Her ass was so fat, she fell out of the goddamn car, and she just fell. Everybody said they heard her screaming on the way down, and just heard a big ass splat. Oh shit! She heard the elder. She heard somebody teaching yeah. the truth and and kept eating that swine, man. I would have laughed if I seen it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I mean, okay, that would be funny. Cause I guarantee you, she was a fat, adulterous whore. She was eating swine. Yeah, like you said. Doing all type of abomination. I was doing all type of abomination. The Lord just don't kill anybody. <laughs> you think, oh, it's just a random act. No, ain't nothing random. <laughs> this her, is, her sins must have reached up to the heavens. It was, this is not a random world we <laughs> that live smell in. That, 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 that smell <laughs> reached Right, up. it did. It so reached to his footstool. The abomination had reached up to the heavens. <laughs> Just look, 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 somebody get that scoffer and had a heart attack. Man, I hope I dropped dead if I'm wrong. I'm telling you, man, the other day I had this bitch down the street in the truck, man. Took her leg over her legs, man. So, it is. Man. Well, yeah, you're on the south side? Oh, oh yeah, shit. you text me. Yeah, did I tell you? Oh, yeah, I did tell you that, though. Oh, was like, oh man. I can only imagine. Man, uh, oh, oh, I just got out the shower. I was like, okay, cool. Well, I told cool. you la last night. I right, sent you that text. Shower, that shit still smell like that. Smell like that. Smell like straight fuck. What's up, Holly? Yeah. Smell like this. Man, that's just a pussy. Hey, right. That shit was done, man. Right. You know, when you go up, man, you... Hey, I, shit, I get, a, I get a hard one now when the wind blows, man. Uh, bitch open her legs, you think you're gonna get an instant heart on me. That's fucking <laughs> <laughs> she got she got everything for you. She got HPV, she, she got, got it all. 
with the clap, the hepatitis C. She got A, B, and C. The whole outfit. I told her I was gonna post her nasty with a pussy on Facebook. <laughs> oh man, that's nasty. I oh, too. I got that video on my phone. I was telling you about when that bitch got her ass beat by the two by four. Oh yeah, when the one you said it's called nine one one. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I was wondering what was up. Oh, with I, that. I ain't got a media player on my phone though. I got the foul though. I, I like that it. clip where them two nigga woman bitches try to uh, try to beat up the dude. Try to beat up the dude in McDonald's at the manager or something like that. He went back, grabbed the metal stick, beat them bitches the fuck up. Y'all ain't see about that? Oh yeah, I seen that. Yeah. I think that you seen that one? You? Yeah, yeah. These nigga, these nigga one bitches try to hop. Well, one hop yeah. the yeah. counter. One was a dike. Right, right. Ran around. Right, right. He went back in that room, yeah. grabbed the metal, <laughs> beat them yeah. bitches. Yeah. 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 You see that one? Destroyed them, yeah. That was whoop they ass, man. Two proud bitches, man. Two proud bitches. That don't make no damn sense. Yeah, challenge like, a man like they a man. Like, well, I told you. That's not a woman. Right, hit you right. with that message last night. Right. This bitch was talking all kind of shit to some dude, and she was just proud as hell, running her mouth. Right. And all of a sudden, she started screaming, "Help! Call nine one! <laughs> call nine one one!" Like first she was hard, she was a badass. Yep. Now she called, begging someone to help her. <laughs> call nine one one. Right, right, right. That's how it is, man. man I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was laughing, man. It's an easy white woman. This is this a this is. That's why the most high got the rules and regulations. Or how the women be. Well, what'd he do to Moses' sister? Uh, what's Straight her name? Miriam? Yeah, for opening her motherfucking mouth, speaking out of order to her brother when they know her brother was a man of the Lord. Yeah. Right. She had no business, right? Talking shit to her brother, man of the Lord, a thing. Most I turned into a white bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Told her into an Edomite. That's an Edomite. That's how the story was. That's what that motherfucking bitch is doing. And she felt fucking shame because she was out in the darkness for a week. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about that shit. You know, after she came back in, you know her mouth was shut. And she's probably the same with uh, uh, King David's wife. Oh, her. yeah, yeah. Uh, Saul's daughter. Yeah, uh, Saul's daughter. That was Saul's daughter. Saul's she daughter, had something yeah. to say. I got a scripture for you. Mm -hmm. You want to do a scripture? Yeah. Get Revelation 17 and, uh, uh, my fault, uh, 21 and, uh, 21 and 6. There's an example of it in, in Genesis, I think, where the uh, 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 Israelite woman got burnt the fuck up. Yeah, you know, I'm, our people some foul people, man. Right. They're filthy. They brought up in this filthy ass system in this filthy world. Well, they do love it. A lot of them love it. Yeah. Well, some of them do hate it, like us. That's why we out here to draw in and people to hate this world. <laughs> they don't know where you're gonna find them. We just throw the nets out, you know what I'm saying? We throw the nets out, we catch them up with carp and catfish and some, what's some, what's some things that look like lobsters, the, uh, the crawfish. We catch some crawfish and eels. <laughs> you gotta throw that back. Yeah. Clams. <laughs> we throw that shit back, we throw it back. You say uh, Revelation is 21? It's seven. Uh, seven. Six, six, start at six. Read aloud. Revelation is 21 and six. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is at, at thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Well, that's right, this is this is a water fountain, right? This is an oasis. This right here is an oasis. Y'all in the desert, y'all out here living in the desert, got no life in it. It's really a concrete desert out here. Look at all concrete, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no kind of life. So this is like an oasis out in the middle of a desert right here. This is Petra. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Petra, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, we live in Petra. The uh, Mount Seer. Petra. Yep. Petra means rock. Ain't nothing but rock. Look at this hard ass concrete every goddamn way. So you know what? Mount Seer probably better than this, man. Probably is. But Mount Seer at least has some 
berries and shit, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing growing out here. <laughs> Ain't nothing growing. Bacteria. Shit, is he Bacteria's even, growing. Yeah, it's even worse. Could you imagine living in New York City? Oh, That's man. even worse. I know. God damn, I couldn't even breathe when I went to that yeah, we, we, we was talking about that down there, how the nut was growing. Yeah, you need an oxygen mask to even walk around. Yeah, it stink too. Yeah. Keep going. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. So overcometh means overcometh teaching his word. Out here doing his work. That's what it means by overcometh. Keep going. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelievable and and unbelieving so all the unbelievers all the scoffers keep on and the abominable and murderers murderers well, a lot of our people are murderers they brag about it too rapping they got these little rap songs talking about how they killing people they fuck your bitch committing adultery selling drugs keep going and whoremongers and whoremongers whoremongers that going to all these adulterous women these adulterous men like I said, they always somebody gonna fuck your bitch. You know what I'm saying? They come in adultery. You got transvestites, faggots. They got all manner of wickedness out here. Keep going. And horror mongers and sorcerers. Sorcerers? Uh, and sorcerers, that go into the that go into shit like the Illuminati. You know what I mean? You got Hollywood. Hollywood. Holly weird. That's what they call it, Holly weird. That's some weird shit out there in Hollywood, man. Very strange. Well, actually, even the word Hollywood, go back to the Hollywood, like the magician's magic wand. That's the Hollywood. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. That little stick. Cause that's what it. When you make them movies, they waving their magic wand, putting a spell on you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but real, like we said, that scriptures, the, 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 the spells don't work on the elect, on Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Numbers 23 and 23. That's not, yeah, that's the, that's the Jordan number. Yeah, I can't forget that one. Because <laughs> I, no yeah. I could watch, I could watch some bugged out shit, man, and it, it's like, it don't faze me. Like, right, because if, if you ain't in, if you ain't got the truth, you know, you can have somebody watch some Brokeback Mountain and make them want to be a faggot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or watch some faggot shit and, and it starts to influence their mind. Like when all these women, they watching all these movies about adultery, it makes them commit adultery. When, it, when they watch these movies like uh, all these gangster movies, it makes them want to be a gangster. How many people you know watch Scarface and they want to be just like Scarface? Which one of those motherfuckers I grew up with? Yes, like, you know what I'm saying? They watch the movie and the movie influences them. Right, he's Dude, right here. That's a spell. This is numbers 23 and 24, 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Yeah, so we, we watch, them movies don't phase us. You ain't gonna fool us. Okay, read that again. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to the time it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what have the most high wrought? Right, so them enchantments, the, the, all, the, all these sorcerers and magicians they've been putting out there, they, they don't phase us, man, because we got this truth. We know what's going on, so we can watch a movie and not be influenced by it. We can listen to that music, and it, 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 it doesn't influence us, you know what I'm saying? Because yep, yep. we, we'll see it, we'll call it, like, man, that's some bullshit. This movie's some faggot shit. You know what I'm saying? This music is some faggot shit. And we know as soon as we hear it. And like, oh, this is an agenda, this is propaganda. Because most right. of the movies they make is propaganda. Like you said, especially them bitches, they get to watching Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> what else the other show is? Love and Hip Hop, some other reality uh, fucking uh, show. Uh, R&B women, uh, R&B uh, wives. Or yeah, something like yeah. That. And so, they'll sit there, the bitch from the show will be talking. Mind you, this is some wicked ass R&B singer or R&B rapper bitch. Wicked as all hell, they'll be talking like they got some, like they making damn sense. And the bitch at home will be watching it be like, I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that's right. Get the fuck out of here. They learn how to act from the music and from TV. Especially that fucking one bitch. I can't stand that one Which bitch. One? Which uh, one? The Atlanta, the uh, Rural Housewives of Atlanta. Right, right, right. The nigga woman bitch, the straight queen nigga woman bitch. I think they call her Nene. Her name is Nene or some shit. Right, right. Wicked as all fucking hell. That bitch is fucked the fuck out. And all them bitches look up to this fucking woman like she a goddamn goddess. Yeah, right, or some but that shit, shit shouldn't even be allowed on TV. 
at all. That should be illegal to even show some shit. The, you know what I'm saying about some housewives. Exactly. Here you go. This is yeah, that, that's, that's the evil, man. This is Isaiah uh, 47 and 13. Thou art word in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now the astrologers and stargazers, the monthly prognostic. Uh, prognosticator. I hate that word. Well, it gets me every time. Well, prognosticator. Man. Prognosticator. When you break it down, it comes from pro or pre and gnostic. Which gnostic means knowledge. So a prognosticator is somebody gives you pre knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like an evil, uh, like an evil, like a, what's they call them? A psychic. That's a psychic right there. People go, they go to get their tarot cards read and they palms read and all that shit. Right, right, right. Or right. like your girl, what's your girl to be on Montel? That uh, that bitch, that white bitch, what, uh, that, that she be talking to the spirits. Sylvia Brown. Yeah, something. Sylvia Brown. Sylvia that's Brown, it. Yeah. And these women love some Sylvia. They love her. Like my grandma, she loves Sylvia. Dude, that's so true. Only on camera. Only on camera. That's beautiful. Only on parts. Not too long though. They get mad out here. <laughs> you good? That's a Parson Avenue tow truck company. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I was gonna tell you though, like my grandma, she was into that. She loves for Sylvia Brown. That straight fucking witch. And she a witch. Right out in the open on TV, and all the women love her. Right here, right on open TV. And then Montel. She should be getting put to death. And then Montel, he, he, yeah, he's guilty of death for pushing that shit. Yeah, his okay. fucking sell out there. And all he, well, he makes, yeah, he's making a living off of other people's woes anyway. Jerry Springer. Yeah. Jerry Springer, that Jew yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we don't, that's the shit we're talking about, man. Let now the astrologer and the stargazer and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Yeah, let's see Sylvia Brown save your ass. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like you know that scripture right there. What scripture was that again? So Isaiah 47, 13. He pretty much said, call on them. And yeah. that's really going into it, too. He was talking about Esau. Because you got Esau, his whole system, this whole system is based on sorcery. It's all based on magic and shit. Yeah, yeah. Based yeah. on astrology. Like all these uh, companies, all their corporate logos. He's the main, he's the head of that shit. Well, look on the back of a dollar bill. It's all, it's a talisman. It's, it's all ancient symbology from ancient mythology, like the Egyptian shit and ancient Roman mythology, all up on a dollar bill. Right. You know what I'm saying? He saw pay homage to all those kingdoms that the most high hate. They ain't already destroyed. It's right down the back of a dollar, clear as day. That's, that's a, how you know there's a problem with that, man. That's why the scripture says they're children of fools. Base men. Yeah. Base men. You know? They yeah. don't learn from the past. You know, they low life. They think they can change the past. Exactly. Come on now. You got Rome, Greece, the Assyrians, Babel, Babylon. They want to. They want, to follow, they want to follow the customs of all those wicked ass kingdoms, knowing and they know what it is for that. Right, and they know that. They know, yeah. Well, they see what happened in Egypt. Yes, yeah, they know that. They see what, you know what I mean? But there's, there's, there's a written history written down on what happened in Egypt. But what it is, though, <laughs> they stuff them up, them demons, they give them power and shit. It's the most high symbol of strong delusion. Mm -hmm. that, that strong delusion. Just like when you see the, everybody's seen the famous, the 9-11 explosions when there's demons in the smoke. Yeah, that? yeah, I remember that, yeah. That was kind that, of Because that 9-11 attack, that was a satanic ceremony. Right. That was a sacrifice to the devil. And they sacrificed all those, all those souls up in there. You know what, exactly. Moose has doing what he did to Pharaoh. How he, uh, we was talking about that the other day, Chen, uh, how he hardened the Pharaoh's heart. Yeah. Because right, right. he was letting the Israelites go. Yeah, he But he was, uh, Moose how was hardening his heart. Pretty much to set him up for that watery grave. That's why he, yeah, he set him up for death. That's how he doing him like with Esau. Right, exactly. That's a good point. Like he hit hard in Esau's heart. Man, that water feels like cement when it gets your hands. Yeah, yeah. It feels it. like cement. But that's what he's doing to Esau, hard in their heart. He gonna put the spirit on to press that new button. Go, go dive in the pool and do a smack on your belly. Oh yeah, see yeah. how that shit, that shit hurts. It's right, stained. just like with all these false flags and everything they pulling. All this shit they doing is becoming so obvious. Exactly. Like it's not even tricking people no more. 
But that's why he said they, the most high harder than they hard. But them two cops in the first year got shot. Some professional government motherfuckers did that shit. JK can't shoot that like good. Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. They had uh, Navy SEAL From, from that distance they were saying them. it was from. Yeah, too. it looked like a rifle shot or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was some yeah. professional shit. And plus, they didn't catch the motherfucker? Yeah, they didn't catch him. Yeah, right. They always <laughs> catch motherfuckers. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? You know? Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarters. None shall say. Oh, yeah, all them merchants. You got all them, all them stock brokers and all these big corporations. Because America is ran by corporations. You know what I'm saying? Big money. Big business. Big, what, it, big, what they call it, big pharma. You know what I'm saying? All the insurance companies. They got actual laws out here that say that you have to buy insurance from a privately owned company to drive a car. So you got people, there's people who own the insurance companies. They're the ones who write the laws. Just like that Obamacare shit. They force you to buy insurance from a private company. What kind of sense does that make? No sense. Oh, there's an air, you got Rickenbacker right over there. That shit is flying and smooth, ain't it? Yeah. Look, well, they got lights on it though, so. Shit, they got lights on drones? Oh, you talking about if it was a drone? I know that one time we was out there making a, uh, when the electric went out, and we had a, we was cooking potatoes. Out. We made a bonfire in front of the house. <laughs> and they sent a drone on our ass. I dug the hole. Well, no, nah, we had a grill, but it, we, it was a shitty, it's hard to explain. Oh yeah, those all tempered drums out that night. You know, the fire was out for like two weeks. Oh, we was living good over there, but we're a uh, fair game. <laughs> Man, that was the most quiet it has ever been out there. It was just, it was they just got scared. Fans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was actually a humble two weeks with that fire around. Oh, oh man, that was beautiful. On, straight up, it was, was very humble. That was a tease. That was most like tease. Was, it was, man. I was living nice. You teased the shit out of us, man. It was like. When that power went out, it was so smooth. It was so smooth for me. I don't even remember it. Like, <laughs> I don't, our shit was out for two weeks. That's what I'm saying. It was out for two weeks. And I was one of the people in the area where it stayed out for the whole two weeks. <laughs> they save the hood for last. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They save the hood and, for last. Uh, they go to the suburbs. I don't even remember. I don't even remember it. I remember like a few nights. Getting off of work. You was an Abbey then, weren't you? Yeah, I was yeah. in Abbey Lane. But I don't even really remember, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why that motherfucker keep smiling that's, that's, and shit. Like, I mean, this is funny. Keep dude. laughing and smiling. Yeah, right there, just right. looking at him smiling. Yeah, he's dumb ass black old nigga. Joker, yeah. yeah, he looked he look like Baby, but like Lil, Lil Wayne. Uh, Lil Wayne's dude. That's a fucking demonic grin on his face. I, I was getting creeped out, man. Yeah, I was kind of getting creeped out, too. And like, what the fuck? Oh, let me read this. If it's Micah, uh, Micah 5 and 12, and I will cut off witchcraft out of thy hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. The graven images also will I cut off, and they standing in, and, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thy hands. And I will pluck up the grove out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. I thought, was, heard. I thought God was a loving God. Oh, right, oh, right. He said not heard. This our own Bible. We type this shit up ourselves. Yeah, you got, <laughs> you got a trick Bible. Right, right. Now, that's what it really says. What Bible are you reading? You actually got people like, let me see that. You know, <laughs> hey, look, can I see that? Because they don't believe you, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then and then on top of that, you know the most high gonna completely wipe this place out because it's pretty much built. It's nothing but concrete altars. Stone altars all around. Everywhere. Ain't no like ain't nothing built with earth. Nothing. Everything's made out of damn stone. Everything. 
Well, or asphalt, asphalt. Or asphalt, yeah. This shit's asphalt on concrete, hell. hard as hell. I'm yeah, it, it's not good for your body to be standing mm -hmm. on concrete. The sidewalks is all made out, made out of concrete. And, and you, you get mad as hell. Like, I be cursing my, my sons out. I see him running around playing on concrete. I'm like, you gonna get fucked up. And then they, one of them trips each other or something, and they're wrestling on, and then they fall on the concrete, bust their goddamn knee open, right. blood <laughs> every damn way. Elbows. Elbows like all massive. Palm scraped, your hands. Palm your hands all scraped up. That's, that's unnatural, man. man. I can't even tell you how many times that shit happened to me. I still got scars on my knees right. from that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, you go on Google Earth and look at the map you of the United it. States, man. It looks like a it look half earth, half robot. Yeah, every time you get to a city, it's all it look like a machine. Yeah, it oh, looks like it does. When you fly, that's that's because it's the beast. Because when you fly over a, a major city in an airplane, it looks like a microchip. Yeah, computer grid. It like, does. It is a machine. Yeah, it's yeah. a machine. That's why you yeah. got a, a rusted ass old machine. Yeah, a rusted. <laughs> ass. That's why you got that band Rage Against the Machine. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's so because it's like a computer chip. That's like soon they're gonna put microchips in people. Yep. Just the name of Garth Brooks new album, Man vs. Machine. Man vs. Oh, yeah. Machine? Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks, Brooks. Brooks. Brooks he'd he come out of hiding. It's I ain't heard, wild, I ain't heard yeah. that name in a long time. He made him come out of hiding. Motherfucker, oh, you better man. come out of hiding, you ain't gonna be living good. Uh, right? He banned he iTunes, he refuses to sell his music on iTunes. Like, like he, he sold that great? <laughs> yeah, your boy Prince did the same thing, didn't he? Sure did. Prince wouldn't be on iTunes. He's like, fuck you. He's like, I'm getting all the money. Like, hey, Prince won't sell his shit. No, you gotta buy it straight from him, don't you? Yeah, you don't see shit on, uh, you don't see his shit on YouTube. They'll get copyright claims on it. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. He just had a new album come out not too long ago, didn't he? Two of them. Yeah. We had two new albums at it, one time. Cause you know, he got a whole vault full of music. Yeah, he got a shit load. They're they're gonna be in. That's even a rap band. They're gonna find ass white bitches. Yeah, yeah. He's he got, he got three bad ass white bitches. They skull thick. Who Prince? Yeah. Thirty yeah, third, yeah, third eye girl. Thirty eye girl. This fake ass. I always got some bitches. Yeah. They bad man. They bad as fuck man. I wanna fuck all them bitches. <laughs> For real. And they ain't bad musicians either. Actually, they the baddest shit. I'm gonna fuck bitches and pull up ass bitches again. Hey, man, Prince claimed to be a Jehovah Witness. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't heard him say that? Yeah. I think I seen him on Tab. He was talking to Tavis Smiley or something. Mm -hmm. Saying he was a Jehovah Witness. A Dude, God Prince. that's it. Uh, at least he believes in the Bible, I guess. Michael but that's Jackson probably a front. He got, that, he got that zeal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Michael Jackson, was a, he was damn near Muslim. Only I think of Prince, I think of Dave Chappelle now. Ever since I seen that shit. Y'all hear about the Dave Chappelle thief? Robert. See the hoes, huh? Here in Columbus. No. I think it's here for him. What he's saying, I'm rich, bitch. Nah, some dude oh. robbed him, looking just like Dave Chappelle. Oh, for real? Oh, wow. Dave Chappelle robbery? It could be Dave Chappelle. Yeah, he live in Ohio, bro. Don't doubt it, man. He live on a farm of somewhere yeah. in Ohio. Yeah. I thought it was up north near Cleveland, but somebody told me it was out about eight by eight. Israel's wicked, man. I'm pushing past him either, because he was linked into Hollywood, too. Don't you think you know? You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's him. I heard he was back at it again. I'm gonna say that all the time, Dave Chappelle left the hit for cost of that. I personally think Dave Chappelle sucked mad dick to get where he was. He had to. I, I, that's what I personally believe. He had to. Yeah. There's no way around it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then he had that bad taste in his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> right. His conscience, his conscience. Yeah, his conscience got to him. That's that bad taste, that conscience, bro. Yeah. Real. You sell out, and that conscience gets to you. It happened to a lot of motherfuckers. That's what happened to all of the motherfuckers. This is after a while, I be thinking like, they just so neck deep in that shit now, just like, yeah, right, right. They yeah. shit. That's what, John Ty was another example. You know what I'm saying? Oh, John come Ty. out with it, you know? Come out and, and he just, dis you know? they disappeared his ass. You know, didn't they? Yeah. They never found him? Nah. They never, and people yeah. try to say he was a fraud, and mm -hmm. nah, he, nah, that, that nah, shit was nah. real, man. He knew what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah. You can tell he was in it. You can tell. Cause he got videos, and he didn't get too specific. And the way he was talking about, he didn't believe in that Satan shit, you just knew that shit was real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get 
motherfucking neck deep in that shit, man. Because he's a member of the Collins family. That's one of the one of the rich Illuminati families, the Collins. Damn. Did you ever read Bloodlines of the Illuminati? That Fritz Springmeyer book? That's a badass book, man. Oh, uh, for real? Bloodline. That's a badass book. Which one did you just buy? Did you just buy one? Mark Dice book. That was a Mark Dice one you bought. Fritz Springmeyer book. It's a Bloodlines of the It's old, man. It came out back in the 90s, I think. It's an old book. That's his claim to fame. He's still trying to hold on to that. I gotta get in my closet, man. Get my books on. I just found a half a whip of fish, man. Pussy, man. Hey, since we talking about some uh, John Todd, I'm gonna get the scripture he always got. Get, uh, get that Ephesians 6 and 8, verse 12. Oh, yeah. 6 and 12. That goes in the right what we're talking about. Ephesians. You got it, Yeah, I got it. I actually, I remember this one of the first times I heard this scripture. That's crazy as hell. I, I just hope my book straight up too. Yeah, because I, I heard that John Todd shit back when I was still in the world. Right. And I was into that Illuminati and UFO shit. Yeah, I was into that shit heavy too when I first heard about it. Yeah. yeah. Looking for some kind of truth. This is Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So every, we ain't fighting against physical, we ain't fighting a physical war. This is a spiritual war. You go on. But against principalities. That's a principality. What's a principality? It's like spirits. Those are spirits. Demons. You yeah. fight against demons and spirits. Every it's, day. These, these people all guys are all spirits, walking spirits. We battle against them. And it's in flesh form. Yeah. Plus they got demons on them. <laughs> against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Nope. I don't that world ain't the same as the same world as um in John 3.16. Maybe it is the same. We need to look is it up. Is that the same world? That's all about, I don't know. This is all a, a particular group. I mean, you can you go look at it in uh, both ways, because there is. In well, this world, world, that means, like. It's all about context. Like time. There's another world. Yeah, I mean, it would be a good idea to look that up, because I. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm retarded as fuck, because I just did this, like, a couple weeks ago. Oh, uh, for real? I hate my head, man. I can't remember That's all right. I'll be forgetting shit, too, because I, I know I've read that in Greek before, too, and I can't remember. Right. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world, but we, but we know who controls this world. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The devil. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. It says spiritual wickedness in high places. So that's why we know uh, the spiritual wickedness in high places. You got actual devil worshippers controlling shit. That show you that in that movie uh, Eyes Wide uh, Shut with Tom Cruise. That Stanley Kubrick movie, and they, and, they, and they said they assassinated Stanley Kubrick for making that movie. Wow! Because they shut. Because that's the he died right before it came out, I believe, or Ooh. shortly after it came out. I didn't know that. That was his last fucking movie that he was ever his made. Last movie, Eyes Wide Shut. And he was still young. He wasn't, but what, fifties or early sixties? He wasn't that old. He still had a lot of time left. That oh, right. he killed his ass. And that's not even the full cut. That's that. That's they edited it. That's not even the, the director's version. We ain't even gonna see what that movie what was really in the original movie. They, they said a lot got cut out. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. They show you in that movie how the judges, politicians, doctors, lawyers, they they all worship the devil, man. Yeah, that's why uh, when you go to the courthouse, the the judge is a high priest of Baal, the devil. You know what I'm saying? All, all their laws are contrary to the biblical laws. You know, you know, it's a Satan's courthouse if a woman goes in there and, uh, who already committed adultery multiple times, has five different babies' daddies, yet she continuously gets custody of the children. You know what I mean? You know that's the devil's the devil's courtroom. That's fucked up. You know Satan's running shit in there. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's how that, you know. And that's why we said that uh, that's why the city of Columbus always approves gay flags to be flown downtown. All the way up down the street. They don't let they don't hang up Bible verses. They don't hang up uh, uh, Bible symbol uh, symbolism or biblical symbolism. You know what I'm saying? What do they have? They have pictures uh, uh, and symbolism of homosexuals flying everywhere. Right. Oh, the state house has a statue that uh, naked dude with the little kid. Is. He does. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he does. You're right. The state. When you go downtown, the state house, 
There's a yeah, you got a little naked dude. A little naked. That's disgusting, man. <laughs> There's little balls and hanging out. Next to it, next to it, kid. Next to it, the, the child. Damn, this bad. And they got two statues of Christopher Columbus downtown. Yeah, too. I seen that shit. Two yeah. of them. Now one. They got two, two giant ones. Probably more than that. Way they got more. Yeah, there's probably more statue than that. Statue of this murdering motherfucker. And it's already been a, been established that this dude was actually a, a, a <laughs> yeah, stone cold murderer. Stone cold murderer. Chopping <laughs> motherfuckers' noses off. Hey, <laughs> killing babies. Killing babies. He, he was no mercy. No mercy at all. Stealing their gold. You know what I mean? Rounding them up, taking them back to Spain. But this city's named after him, though. It bears his name. Bears and they're proud name. of him. They're proud. Their statues ain't coming down until the missiles hit. That's right. That's right. That's why. Ain't no way protesting those statues either. Fuck no, ain't nobody protesting those statues. That's what I'm saying, man. So, you know, hey, Most High made the perfect devil, man. What else he supposed to do? And, and just That's like new world, so we always say, uh, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court, this is further proves that devil worshippers are controlling shit. The Supreme Court's address downtown, the Supreme Court down in, in Columbus, its address is 66. That's crazy. Oh, shit. I still got footage on that oh, camera. I got and the out. street would be 6th Street if there was a number. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it is right after 5th, ain't it? Or, no, a high street would be. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, it goes 3rd, 4th, 5th. Yeah, you're right. It's 3rd Street, 4th street. street, High Street, then Front Street. That would be 6th oh, Street. Six, that is 6th. Six, six, so it's 6th six. Six Street, six, address 6th. Six, six. And then you six, look six. at the, uh, the, 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 the city hall, city. Man, I, I want to take that footage, man. I'm going to get some.